drawing that I was working on yesterday and um, I haven't drawn anything for ages. Uh, I don't really draw that much and it's terrible really, but um, I really love drawing. But um, I think the reason I don't draw much is because I, I don't feel st enough stimulation to do drawing. I think it's... The thing is with me is I work from reference material, like reference photos, and I struggle to find images that really sort of excite me. And I think if I decided that if I started maybe filming my, if I started drawing and filming it and sharing it with you guys on YouTube, it might um, motivate me to do more. Um, I think, you know, I... I think it's good to share techniques. Um, I love watching video, like art videos, by artists and painters and sculptors and all these kind of people, <clears throat> just to get ideas and you know little tidbits here and there. And I just thought if I make a video of my own techniques, how I start a drawing, for example, it might be of value to those watching. Maybe people who are put off by drawing, it might make them feel that confidence and enthusiasm to have a go maybe um this looks complicated but it, it, it you know if you're patient you can anyone can do this if you're patient and you take your time and you have to start slowly and you have to really kind of not push yourself too hard at the beginning it's all just about finding basic shapes and starting with a, a very very big picture simplistic image in your mind you know, basic, just a very basic, you know, shapes and angles, that kind of thing. I'll go into that, but um, yeah, I'll, this would be the first of many videos I'll, I'll do like this. And um, the lighting is a bit crap in the video, so I do apologise. Um, I did it kind of on the spur of the moment. It just, I kind of thought, I, I, just, I was drawing, I thought, oh, I better film this quickly. And I just grabbed my, my phone camera, so it was a bit rushed. So in future, I will aim to make it look a little bit more polished and something that you can um, follow a little bit more clearly. But um, yeah, this is just the first one. So uh, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you here. Drawing is freaking difficult. Uh, I never find it easy. I've got a royalty free image I downloaded from um, Pexels. You can get some good images on there like portraits, photographic portraits. And uh, I just wanted to draw the, a figure out and then <sighs> I've got these kind of fine line of black ink pens. I've never really tried them out. And I thought it was a good chance to try them out. And um, if I draw it out first in pencil, uh, I can go over on top of the pencil, once I've finalised the image in the pencil, you can go over it and work out how you're going to do the lines and the pen. That makes sense, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, people think that people who can draw find it easy, but it is incredibly difficult. I will say that it's uh, it's frustrating as hell. Like this image now. Um, all I can do really to begin with is I'm, I've got an A4 size of paper here and I've got to try and fit the image. I, want the, I really want the whole image. I want. I, mean, I just want the, character, the main character with the, holding his glass. I don't really care about the stuff in the background so much. I just want that guy to fit on the paper, basically. And uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, all I can really do at this stage is just really just do large shapes. And they're all going to, everything's going to be wrong. Everything's going to look shite at the moment. It's a slow, kind of painful, <laughs> gradual coming together of shapes and linking shapes together. That's how basically I do portraits or figure drawing. I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. I mean, <sighs> I hope you can see these lines. You could do it like a stick insect almost. You could just like decide where the top of the head's going to be. So let's say the top of the head could be there. And then, do you know what I might do? I might look at the shape here. 
of the shirt from the sort of where you see the lightest part of the shirt I could do that as a, sh a kind of a shape like that so think of the head and the shirt as one shape on its own and that's almost in the middle as well if you look at that that's kind of in the middle of the image that bit there so that's kind of how my mind works like that so just where's the middle of the image it's kind of there roughly I might need to leave space though here because there's quite a lot of space here kind of them. so if you imagine there's a shape of the head there roughly and then the shirt like that and then if you see here it kind of goes duh duh like that duh 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 so sort of like duh duh like that so that's all I do at the moment <laughs> that's all I'm kind of doing not trying to be precise or anything. Because you can't be precise. You can't start drawing an eye. Like, oh, I'll start really detailed work on the eye. And... No, you just do the basic shapes. Well, I don't know. It's going to take a while to get his head correct. But I won't bother with that yet. Um, look at the shoulders. Let's see, look at the shapes. Look at the shapes. Look, you can go like angles, you know. Just look at bigger shapes. You can imagine a line going across here to the, one tip of the shoulder to the other tip, like that. Um, so it's like a tri tri like a triangular kind of shape, almost not what. So just just roughly put it here. I'm gonna move it again. It's not gonna be in the right place, probably. Uh, if you look at that bit there, that bit is roughly the same length as that bit there, where his head, but where it cuts across his head. If you imagine a line cutting across here, it's roughly the same, roughly the same length. That's a slightly bit shorter. So that's how I kind of think when I draw. I kind of think like that, kind of. Um, What's, what what are the relations between between shapes? Just look, you have to find shapes. You have to kind of imagine shapes. You're going to get it wrong. You're going to get it really wrong. And you just look, I've just got I've got as a block. That's all I've got right now. It's just a block. This line here goes down like that. Just just do a line like that. We'll come back to it later. So. Then I'm looking at the hand. So where's the hand? So, do, do, do. Top of the glass, maybe. Look at the top of the glass. That bit there is the white there. So the glass is a little bit higher up. So let's just say it's there. Just a line. And you could cut the glass, you can imagine the line continuing from the top of the glass out to the arm. So that, that's the top of the glass, and it's going out here. And how much of the arm does that cut off, cut, dissect through? How much of the arm does that guy dissect through? Is that like halfway? If you imagine up from there to there. And now down to there, that's almost like halfway, isn't it? The top of the shoulder to the top of the glass to the that part of the knuckle there, about halfway, isn't it? So it's like do it's roughly not an exact measurement of any kind, but that's roughly the knuckle. That that's there then, isn't it? So I've got to there. That's the knuckle. Now I'm not going to properly draw the hand because it won't look correct yet, but I'll just roughly do a line following the the bottom pinky finger, like that. So that's kind of gives us gives you an idea of where we are in the image, like where we are anchored in the image. So then you have got to make sure you yeah the space of the leg. Then you see there's a space for the leg there, so it's not too crunched. Uh, yeah, that's kind of how I process things. 
so yeah the kind of image is fitting together now that bit is kind of roughly the same length as that bit and then that bit's roughly the same length as that as well so and then angular that way so just keep the line going even though it's longer than the arm just plotting the shape and the head I'll just draw a block for the head at the time for the time being so the head this is just the line following the head it's not the height of the head it's just a line following the angle the direction he's looking see that that's the side of the face that whole bit is the side of the face and then that's the front of the face and That's taken up about half the side of the face is taken up about half of the space, and then the other half, the front of the face is taken up half of the space here. So it's like half and half. So you can do a line, do a line from the middle there, a rough line, and. Uh, I just want to get this angle right so the head here the head goes like that and then so the ear is in the middle from there to there the ear is roughly in the middle so I have to work out what the bottom of the head is well, if you look at that there, there's like a, you can imagine that's like a distorted triangle. That's the longest side, that's the shorter side. Let's see if I can do something similar with this. So roughly speaking, that might be where it, that's not definitive, but that might be where the back part of the head is there. So then the ear might be somewhere there. Okay, so we've got the ear, the middle of the ear here. So if you follow it around like a, like this, imagine it, the curvature of the face like that. The eye line it's just a little bit higher up than that. So the ear is not much, but just about maybe there, like that. Like that. And then the nose is just slightly underneath the, well, won't do that yet. You've got the eye there. Uh, the middle, the, what do you call it, the lower brow edge is in the middle of the face. So, go up like that. That's the back of part of the head. It's going to go up like that. Okay. And then the hair is in between that end part of the ear and then the ridge there. So you could do the hair like that. That's the middle of the ear. So where's the top of the ear? Top of the ear. Top of the ear. Imagine curling it over like that. Yeah, the brow ridge almost connects with the top of the ear. So that might be the top of the ear there. Top, middle of ear. So 
see how difficult it is. It's not easy. So I, don't, I totally get when people say drawing is hard. It is. It's like you're trying to get the basic shapes in there. I'm not. See, I'm not even. I haven't even properly drawn anything in yet. I haven't drawn in the the head properly. I'm still just working out the basic shapes. Um, let me just angle it like that a bit. See, this, when you do this part of the face where it it rounds, it goes round like that. So I'll just do it roughly from here. See, just I want to do the chin. Work out where the chin is. Well, we know that that's where the the chin meets the shoulder there. That that's that point there, isn't it? So I might do a round little curve there. And where's the middle of the face up there? That's halfway between there, there, and there's halfway roughly. So it's the middle. And if you look there, top of the shoulder roughly can almost come across and meet the uh lower part of the back part of the jaw so it's like a draw the line across almost and then from here if we just roughly do a rough line nothing's correct of course yet there's a line going to the center there that's the center point there so that line going there from the ear so go here. Where are we? Sorry, no, I'm going the wrong wrong bit. <laughs> That's the middle of the ear. I don't know where the bottom of the ear is. So I've got to think this out a bit. If I can work out where that part of the jaw is, then well, that's the part of the neck. So if I pull it in just to see what it looks like if I go like this. Yeah, I'm just mucking around. I don't know what's correct at the moment. Got a very rough drawing here for the jaw, but I might have to re-edit it later. That's all drawing is really. It's just drawing, rubbing out, drawing, rubbing out. You're constantly re-editing and fixing and changing. That's all drawing is really. So if I focus on this part of the body for the time being, I come back to the... I know roughly that I can fit everything in because I've kind of mucked around the lines down here and I kind of know where things are, but I'll focus a little bit on the developing the ear and the eyes and the nose. So... The bottom of the ear... Where's the middle of the face? Let's just find the eyes for the time being. So that's the top of the ear going around like that. Like that sort of thing. And I've got the brow ridge there. The nose, let's say that's the edge of the face. That brow ridge there, where's the other brow ridge? There's another brow ridge here. If you see that it goes all the way into the, that black area, this in shadow goes all the way into the nose. So let's just go all the way across like that. And in this area here, I don't quite know where it is, but I'm just guessing. I'm literally just guessing. I'm looking at the whole black shape here. How does that black shape look there? That shadow part there. It's like a hooks over like this. It hooks over like this. And then 
goes down across like that, so down and across. And I don't know if I've got it in the right place or anything like that, so it's going to be wrong. It will be probably wrong, so you have to go with it for the time being. And I just want to go with that shadow just above the eye there. I could just go like this for the time being, just block it in. And then the eye line, the eye line will start from here. See that? So I could come back and fix it later. Things are going to be incorrect and not looking things will look a little bit out of place and not, they're not drawn correct proportions and that kind of thing but it doesn't matter so we've got a really basic rough outline of the eye of the first eye see it's only shapes all i'm dealing with is shapes shadows and shapes now from here i can follow the nose down i know i know kind of the angle of the nose is like this so I'm imagining it, and I'll just do it here. Okay, so I've got an eight angle of the nose. Not correct or anything like that, it's just rough. These are just rough plan lines. Now let's see if there's another relationship here. Look, look at this rectangle here. Do you see the rectangle here? Connect, can connect the nose with the underside of the eye. So if I imagine a rectangle here, how thick might that rectangle be? Is it as thick as this bit here? A bit thinner maybe. Look, there's a shape here as well, look, above the eye. It's the ridge, the brow ridge. And it goes all the way to the middle of the ear, look. See that? And there's the middle of the ear. So already, you're starting to get... And I'll follow that all the way around, look, because it looks like a band going all the way around to the other side of the face, so look, just go around like that. It's kind of tedious, this drawing's tedious, it is tedious, it's slow. And now that I've got this area here, roughly, very roughly, there's nothing... That's roughly the, the, the centre of the bridge of the nose kind of area. So there's a line, the line, just follow the line, see, there's a line going up there like that. I don't know where the top of the head is correctly fully yet, but it's just rough plans and then um, look at this bit here from the middle of the ear. Can you see that shape there? It goes like that and then like that. It's going to attach to the shadow bit there. And they've got the shadow bit here. So comes out to about there, which is about, there's like a sort of a central area there. There's nothing, for, it's not too precise, it's just rough ideas. Imagine that you're drawing like goggles, you're drawing like, imagine, like goggles on his face. So the centre of the ear like that. Contours of the face building up. And if you look here, this um, wrinkle here, like that, it, it's uh, kind of parallel to that as well. And you could almost draw a line from here to the to get to there, to from the, from the 
crophy area of the eye to there, to that part of the nose. There's a line there you couldn't find. And if I could find it here, look, there's the corner of the eye. So I'd have to go through that goggle. I've just drawn that there's goggles there. Go through the goggles. It's kind of like, how far is it? It's like roughly the same, same, that distance there is the same distance, just slightly shorter there, that's slightly longer. So, it's like this length here, and then slightly less, so about there. So that could be there. wrinkle now the wrinkle goes down that's from the center of the eye the left eye there or his right eye sorry In the middle of his right eye if you follow a line down from the middle of his right eye that will give you where that wrinkle goes vertical so see like that See, it's just planning it out like that. The lighting is not great in here, but you can just about make it out. So, uh, where was I? So, did the eye socket area roughly, and then kind of roughly worked out where the nose is. So, the ear is just above the line of the mouth see that there just the bottom of the ear is just above the line of the mouth so if I work out where the mouth is um, the mouth see how I would do this is if you look at this part here the skeletal the skeletal frame <laughs> The ridge here, the outline, that, imagine that, a, I can see a line, I can see an imaginary line, an imaginary line going all the way down to the corner of the mouth here, where the edge of the face resides here, a line going all the way across, that's what I kind of look at things like that, things that you don't fine lines that you don't normally pay attention to so that's here sort of here now the angle from there to there is about so it's in the middle between the nose and there is halfway is the mouth and yet we don't know where the bottom of the nose is yet <laughs> so so if I could take this part here and go up I'll get to the nose if I start from here and I just go vertically upwards I'll come to the, I'll come to where I meet where I meet the edge of the face is where the sort of roughly roughly where the nose begins so if I go from here I'll just go vertically up I'm oh, sorry a bit over maybe just a little bit over so So roughly, just roughly there, roughly there. So I could just roughly, very roughly, just like putting in the underside of a nose there, and then halfway between the chin and the nose, halfway between that is the the line of the mouth. So.
you see my thinking? <laughs> yeah. See, so we've got sort of the beginning of a face. So now, I kind of roughly know where the mouth is. Now we can start plotting in where the ear, the bottom of the ear might go. So if I drag this all the way around like this, following the sort of contours of the face, that means the ear is a little bit slightly higher than the mouth. So the ear might be around sort of somewhere like that. And then the top of the ear, just below the so looking at something like this and it cuts into the head as well so see how do you see how like tedious it is <laughs> that's how tedious it is it's that slow for me drawing I kind of enjoy it though I do enjoy it basic head so that's the drawing um having a bad hair day today so uh i don't even wear my glasses all. i'm going for the tim paul look today <laughs> that's an improvement <sighs> um yeah that, that's the drawing um i just want I'll, I'll do more videos like this um that was just a basic outline of how i do how i start like a portrait or a figure drawing a full like a well, that's not the full body, obviously, but that's like um, if you're doing a larger portion of the body, like how, how I do it, how I can try aim to fit it on a A4 piece of paper. And um, I'll, I've, I'll share that photo, so if anyone else wants to have a go at it. Um, but yeah, you've got to start basic when you're doing drawing. You've got to just do large, big shape shapes. It, it could be like giant rectangles or big, you know, oval shapes or whatever. Just, you know, you've got to start like that. And then from there, you just got to choose an anchor point. Like, should I start with the ear or should I start with the eye? Or Once, once you know where something is on the body, just start from there and try and work your way out from there. So I, I kind of, I can't remember, where did I start again? I used kind of the anchor point of like where the shoulders meet the um, meet the sides of the face. I think I did that, didn't I? I sort of used that. That's an anchor point there, and then the ear, the middle of the ear is an anchor point. And how do I find the? You know, you know, I forgot to mention in the video. Like, if you follow the bottom of the ear, it tends to meet up with the bottom of the nose. So if you follow around like that, that's one really helpful point like that, just like that. So. Um, yeah, it's just like anchor points, isn't it, really? To anchor where you are. Once you know where you are, you can start building the, the image out from there. So, uh, God, I hope I haven't bored you too much with that. Happy Sunday, anyway. Speak soon.